Hello, Charlie from Green Panic here. Um, I'm one of the founders of Green Panic. Uh, Michael is working right now. Um, so today I will present you a little bit more of details about our products. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone that backed our Kickstarter campaign. This campaign right now has reached more than 100% of the target. So that basically means that the Green Panic kit will be released for all the backers and sent to all the backers in March next year. So big thank you for that. It's a huge boost uh, to the morale, to the morale. Uh, and it's also a huge boost for the Green Panic project uh, because uh, right, no, uh, right now, within a few months or so, uh, we will have products on the field, uh, we will have a, a lot more feedbacks than we used to, um, and also uh, we are about uh, to increase the number of people that are involved in this project uh, to make um, all of this become uh, possible um, and uh, to make those products available whatever you, wherever you are on this planet. Okay, so uh, today I wanted to, to show you uh, more stuff about how our products are. I made those uh, little uh, stand. It's quite flexible, so don't worry if, he, if you see that, do that, it's normal. So, first of all, you've got right here the water brain. So the water brain is the device that will be linked uh, to your hydroponic uh, setup. Meaning that you will have sensors that are provided that you will plug here and put in your water reservoir. So this water sensor uh, has all the computing module, um, the computing capability, and will uh, plug, connect, uh, or should say connect, it's better. Uh, it will connect to your Wi-Fi and uh, so that you have an access through the Greenponic app uh, to see all the data uh, that this guy uh, will log. So uh, right here you've got several ports. Um, some few details can change uh, and all the change you will see um, on our social media. I will make a post when you, we make some changes, but the basics are here. So you have uh, two air vents, and this is only for cooling inside. You have here the, the link. So the link port, I don't know if you can see well. Yeah, it's USB-C ports. So when you have your device right here, you plug it into the power supply, and you plug the power supply to number one or number two. You don't, whatever, you can put it in, two ways on one on two, the module doesn't care, it will, it will work the same. So you plug the power supply and if you got the dozer with that, you plug your dozer right here, okay? The dozer also have two USB-C ports. So it will get the power supply and the data from the water sensor on one of these uh, USB ports. If you add another module, for example, if you add another one like this, there, to have eight pump, you will plug the module number three on the port that is still free here, okay? So this is uh, what we call, uh, in a technical terms, a bus, um, which allows you to add more and more module. They are all daisy chained, and the power uh, will only come from this guy uh, and will be sent to the other module on the chain. So you can have the, the opportunity here not to only have one kit, but you can have multiple uh, kits to create zones and to uh, deal with uh, more nutrients if you need to. So going back on this water sensor, this water sensor uh, has those two bus ports. We have the pH sensor that will be plugged here on the BNC. We have the EC sensor that will be also here plugged on the BNC. Um, and here we have jacks. Uh, so this one is the water temperature sensor. Um, this one is very important because when you uh, make pH or EC reading, it's uh, very important to compensate uh, the EC or the pH depending on your temperature. Um, because 
it will uh, change depending on that. So you also have uh, here uh, another jack and this other one is for the air sensor. Uh, we will provide a humidity, temperature and also light sensor that will allow you to check if the light is on or off and also uh, to allow you uh, to see the temperature and humidity in your grow room. This module will come with sensors. So these are the sensors. So this is the all-in-one harness that we deliver uh, with the Green Panic kit. Okay, so those sensors, you have two kinds. Maybe I, I can see better. I have to change the camera, the autofocus is not good at all. Um, whatever I do. And so you have here the EC sensor. This is the one that will sense all your nutrients in your water. And you have here the pH sensor. Those, this block has to be put at the bottom of your hydroponic uh, water reservoir. Here you have uh, some plastic translucent caps that you can unscrew, okay? Those are important in order to protect the sensors when it's not submerged emerge, what, emerge in the water and also uh, to calibrate those sensors. Those of you that know hydroponics uh, know that uh, a sensor that you plunge into water has to be calibrated from time to time in order to assure that it, make, uh, it makes accurate results. Those caps are uh, very interesting for that because you just have to unscrew it, uh, put some calibration liquid in it, put it back, just check if the sensitive element is in the calibration liquid. You go on the app, you click on calibrate and that's it. Your sensor works well with that. The sensors uh, have a five meter long cable. So that means that you can put your uh, water sensor a little bit far away uh, from the water reservoir uh, so you have a kind of uh, uh, flexibility here. Other important element is that um, our module is compatible with our sensors but is also compatible with um, third-party sensors. And so if you take the pH one um, you can basically replace the pH sensor we provide um, with another one from another brand and it will work as long as you calibrate it. Um, for the EC, uh, the nutrient sensor, you can replace it with, with, an, with another one. You just have to know that uh, on EC sensors you have uh, three different kinds and you have to uh, replace it with the same family of sensors. And I will um, give, uh, send the post <clears throat> at release to explain how that worked, all those kind of sensors. And so those ones have been tested for more, more than uh, 12 months continuous uh, readings, meaning that it's submerged for more than 12 months in a hydroponic system. Uh, this is very important because uh, there are different kind of sensors. You got the very cheap uh, sensors that are made for lab it, um, laboratory work uh, that are only intended to be used uh, from time to time, you know, uh, plunge, it, plunge it in a liquid, check the pH, check the, um, the EC, take it back, dry it, store it. Uh, if you leave a very cheap sensor in a hydroponic system making continuous uh, readings, uh, it will quickly degrade and uh, the, um, the readings will not be accurate at all and uh, it will be very messy and you are going to do some bad stuff. So those sensors are uh, industrial grade sensors. They come directly uh, from our supplier um, and uh, they are um, very handy, uh, meaning that they have um, a long cable, as I said, and they also have thread right here, meaning that you can uh, very easily turn it and unplug it from the main sensor body if you want to, for example, clear, uh, clean this body or clean the sensor or whatever, you can do that uh, very easily. So those one has been tested with during 12 months. 12 months uh, used in a hydroponic setup uh, with calibration 
each month or so. Uh, an important thing is that those sensors can last a very, very, very long time. And um, they will last as long as they are well taken care of. Meaning that the thing, the very important thing to do is to be very careful that you do not touch the sensitive parts at the end of the sensor. You always have to clean with the proper water um, and never touch the sensitive part. If you do that, you clean thoroughly the sensor one, one time per month, for example, and calibrate it one time per, per month, it will last a very long time. If it breaks, you will be able uh, to find a new one directly on our store on greenponic.com. Also, um, a very important um, thing that uh, we have done with this kit um, is making it simple. So, on this product, you don't have any button to push. All the settings uh, will be done within the app. I will make another video where I will show you more about uh, the app we used in the beta version, uh, which is quite rough, but you will see a lot of things that you might find uh, interest in. So, no but buttons, uh, you only set it up through the app. So, this guy, when it's not linked with a Wi-Fi network, it will emit its own Wi-Fi network. Uh, so, um, when you first launch the app, uh, your phone will scan to see if there is modules like this one. It will find the module and add it uh, to your interface. Okay, so nothing to, to do on this part um, of, the, of the module. And also, we have tried to, to make some little things to make your life easier. Uh, for example, um, you can see you have white parts here. You've got a white bar for EC, a white bar for pH, and be behind those white bars, uh, you have um, RGB LEDs that can uh, change colors and also uh, change the frequency and the pattern um, of the signal they will make. So, if you, uh, for example, if your EC or pH uh, regulation is disabled, um, it will make a certain kind of light. If there is an alert, it will make a red light. If there is a dosage being made, uh, it will make a yellow light. And if it's all good, it will make a green light. And we can uh, customize those settings um, as we go. Um, so uh, we, I think it's a very nice way to uh, know if it's all working without even looking at your phone, you know. When you go in your grow room and you see the module, you see a little flash from time to time and you know if it's okay or if you have to do something um, about what it's doing right now. Okay, so it's been uh, 15 minutes. Uh, I will make another video uh, regarding this guy right now and I will post it um, on YouTube or our socials. So uh, let's uh, keep updated about all that uh, we will post so that you know everything about what we are doing. Uh, if you got remarks, uh, don't hesitate to leave comments because uh, making this video, uh, you know, like improvising, I don't have a script and um, I maybe uh, have forgotten a lot of details about uh, our products right here. And we'll be very, very happy to talk with you guys, um, exchange ideas and uh, bring answers to all your questions. Okay, see you soon.